So I figured I would give a little introduction on uh, old William here. I tried it a high point for about a year ago, and uh, it has been nothing but problems and friends. But I've just work, 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 work. But it, it's paying me back. So I'll, I'll do a little walk around. And some stuff I've done, changed since I got it. So we'll start kind of from the front and work our way back, I guess. The bumpers off of my truck, I, I sold it to somebody when I put the move on and then he sold it back to me, which is pretty cool. I put in some clear headlights here, some flashing lights and the winch. I replaced all the tires around, you know, given. Did a four wheel drive conversion using an RSK shackle flip. Um, and this is the front axle that came out of Phoenix over there. Um, ignore the brake banjo bolt. I just put new calipers on here. Uh, put the Dodge tow mirrors. That's a pretty cool touch. I got the Denali's on my other one. It's just a welding plate. Real good quality truck here. Um, she is a little rusty, but I do have some parts coming for it. And Tinted the windows, excuse the mess inside, but I put a set of 40, 20, 40 seats in here. The brow, I still need to get my four wheel drive lever in there and fix some rust. You didn't see that. I put the bed on here. Yeah, I, co I coated the frame and everything when I was under there the best I could. Uh, this is an old John Deere box is what it is and it's it needed a new floor when I purchased it put a new floor in there excuse that mass you did not see that build some steps for the back kind of gonna do a little walk around of the service bed as well so I got nice little setup in here you got a portable welder, air compressor. I work on heavy duty tractors and trailers. One bought that Dollar General box. It's been serving me well. It was the right measurement. A lot of the other boxes were just a little too big. So I wouldn't have been able to walk as, as good. I had to fix some of the latches and whatnot on it. Gave it a nice paint job. Well, I did a full straight pipe on it. I used a stainless steel, I will open the hood for you guys, did a stainless steel downpipe, uh, redid all of the turbo seals and everything on it, so that was fun. Also did injectors in it, Checked several oil leaks, four wheel drive transmission, you know, because of the swap. <laughs> Alright, oh by the way. If you choose to do Dodge tow mirrors on your truck, highly recommend the kit with the reinforcement plates. I had these extra laying around, which is the only reason I use them. Okay, so there's some new batteries, uh, big honking air filter. There's a NAPA 46637 filter. You know, just clean some stuff up that was not too great in here redid the entire brake system now after i did the calipers yesterday uh, i just went with stock injectors in it um, it was missing and smoking and very loud uh, repurposed the steering stabilizer off of my other truck i now have a dual setup on there I'll go through a little bit of the bed again excuse the mess but it gets the job done I do have a four camera security system on here, which is very helpful. I came, one of my sides was open one day, but you know, I just got your general hand tools in here. It is so difficult to keep stuff organized in these, uh, hitting bumps and everything. Oh yeah. I got a little switch panel for strobes, interior lights, um, my work lights. Also I have a 5,000 watt Harbor Freight inverter. I mean, the interior, the seats are very nice. They came out of a different truck. But I'll throw my flashing lights on here. Very nice vantage 
vantage bar I got off of a buddy. Help me stay seen out there, even though I don't love going on the interstate. We've got a little power cabin in here, which I do make. 3D print these holders if anybody's interested. Start posting links to these stuff. You know, just your basic tools. I, uh, I, I've been working on semis for quite some time and the service trucks are never stocked. They're just, put your own tools in there. Get your own parts. It was never, hey, you got most of the stuff you need to get the job done. And very rarely, unless it's a specialty part, do I need to go, go run to the parts store. But a little less babbling on, I'll let you guys hear this bad unit. Oh yeah. The winch has helped me quite sometimes. Let's see, when I redid the, not redid, but put the injectors in, I did a uh, like valve cover harness, glow plugs, checked everything out. 226,000 on her. Oh, I also did a TS6 tuner for that more power. Uh, she runs pretty good. I mean, I've put over 10,000 on it. I got it at 212, 213, so, which is a lot. I drive it a lot, so I have to keep it all maintained. I did smoked cab lights as well. Just a few aesthetics here and there, you know, LED, uh, reverse and tail lights. I got, I got a six inch tip. It is, it's a little chilly out right now. I mean, probably 50 degrees, 50, 60 degrees. She's a unit though. Definitely a work truck. Like I said, the paint job, mint. That's where the Liam comes from, because it's all rust-oleum. 